Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FIFA World Cup Inter-Confederation Playoff between Australia and Peru. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. This fiction will be played at the Al Rayyan Stadium in Qatar. While that stadium does not feature in the patch that I use from Virtual Red, a couple other World Cup stadiums do, so for the sake of the preview, we will be at the Khalifa International Stadium in Qatar. There is a look at the Khalifa International Stadium of Qatar. I made Australia the home side because they're geographically much, much closer than Peru. All right, as the players take the pitch, let's take another look around the Khalifa International Stadium in Qatar, standing in for the Al Rayyan before we pause for the national anthems. Soccerers of Australia, they end up in a 4-2-1-3. Taggart, Stryker, Ruzalecki, the wings, Rojic, the attacking midfielder, Rui, Longo, developing the holding midfielders, a strong back forward. Matt Ryan of Arsenal, the captain in goal. For Peru, it's a 4-2-3-1 formation. Gianluca Lapadula, uh, Benevento is the lone striker. Peña, the attacking midfielder, Carrillo, and Christian Cueva, the outside midfielder. Galese in goal. The World Cup ball isn't there yet. This is the closest one I can find to it. Same color scheme for Medidas, so should make for another pretty good stand-in. We got a stand-in for the ball and for the stadium. This is where it really starts to feel like the World Cup. Everything on the line for two of these four sides. The other match, of course, being New Zealand and Costa Rica. Which if you haven't watched already, my goodness, off the post. Check it out right after this one. The two of these sides to get this close and miss is going to be heartbreaking. And Ryan play it back out for Australia. Socceroos, Milligan to Mui. Mui now applies his trade in the Chinese Super League. I believe it's for... Oh, I know it's a red side. I don't. I can't remember if it's Guangzhou Evergrande or Shanghai Port. Pretty sure it's one of those two. I know it's a red shirt team. Probably should have just not brought it up. It's all right. Peru throw. I guess it's pretty obvious to tell based on who I picked, which way this one. I think this one's going to go, but I think this one is a pretty tight matchup, probably tighter than the other, with all due respect. Oof, good defending, loose ball, Peru have it, out of danger, Australia win it back in the midfield. Trade in Saudi Arabia. Al Halal, a 
ahead to Pena. Ryan beats him to it again. Steady goalkeeper hands in this one. Ryan and Galese, and Galese is beat. 1 0 to Australia in the 41st. Rogic with the goal. Australia to pack it in now. Peru might have just made this very hard on themselves. You can tell he's frustrated with his defense there. Winning the ball there. Now the runner clear through. Unmarked. That is a gaff in the defense and it costs Peru. A couple minutes left here in the first half. Three shots to none, nearly 70% of the passing. Australia firmly in control in that first half. They got the goal to show for it. Peru on their heels, looking for an equalizer here in the second. Unforced error. Australia have it back, and they've been so difficult to dispossess for Peru. in space. Oh, a chance for an equalizer goes begging for Peru. Nico Lapadu has been so good for Peru up top. Cuts behind the defender. We get a look here. Puts it off the target. Dula this time he can't get behind the defender. And Ryan comes away with it. Lucky. Down the flank in space. Comes across. Another shot. Off the post. Galese save. Trouble again. They give up a second. I think this one is over. Galese keeps it within striking distance. Big save for the experienced Peruvian keeper. But it's a corner for the Sakaroos. Anamidas on for Australia. Galese has it. We enter the final quarter hour. Peru need an equalizer to send this thing to extra time. Otherwise, their World Cup bid is done. There's the ball in. Lapadula can't get there. 80th minute. Peru not able to put it together, and they are really, really running out of time. Goodness. 
tell. I'm getting frustrated now. I can't get it figured out here. Come on. I don't have a dog in this fight, but obviously I'm playing as Peru, so. And for Lapadula, the defense has it. That should do it for Australia. The Socceroos. In one mil, I imagine will be coming in as underdogs. I certainly think Peru have the edge here, but we'll see how it plays out. Rogers with the goal. Takes on man of the match honors. Let's take a look at her highlights. Australia kicked things off, and in the eighth minute, Mui in from central midfield, sends one off the post. 41st minute, Lecky to Rogic. Unmarked, running through the box. He scores, and it's 1 0 to Australia. Peru have got 45 minutes, well, 49 minutes to equalize. 57th minute. A ball in from, I believe, Pena to Lapadula. His shot just wide. 74th minute. Rogic has another look. Taggart off the post. Rogic stopped by Galese. Peru clear it over the byline. And that's your final from Qatar. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Share it with a friend, leave a comment. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time.